This morning at Coyote Classics, we're checking out another fast Chevelle. This is a 1967. That uh, is my favorite car to drive on the lot, right up there next to that 70 Chevelle that we uh, did in our last video. This car is really well built mechanically. It's got a good look to it. Did you see how, oh he yeah. Set at the front of it once when I rev it. And then, yeah, you just gotta wait till you drive this thing, you're gonna be blown away. And that's a small block in there that's fast as shit. You know, you get it sideways very easy, you know, just getting into it. It's fun, fun, fun car to drive. What do you think of the color combination? I think it's pretty cool. Yeah, it stands out, you know, it's different than, than all the other Chevelles. Well, the nice thing with this one, um, I just took undercarriage photos of it yesterday. The floors are rock solid. So yep. original floors on it. And uh, like you said, this isn't a nice driver price range. This yeah. is a turnkey muscle car. That's just a, a fun driver. Yeah, it's a, it's a ton of fun to drive and it's not, you know, so nice that you're worried to drive it somewhere and park it in a parking lot. The bottom of the hood paint's perfect. Um, you can kind of tell that the uh, the jam paint as far as it was a red car. Well, the red, the, the two-tone, the red was painted, you know, it was red in like a, a flat black. And this guy didn't like the flat black, so he repainted the, a gloss black um, up top. So the black paint's newer. Okay. Got aluminum heads, headers. Power steering, power brakes, uh, super sport hood. Um, looks like the restorer went ahead and put a new front bumper on it. The grill and uh, eyebrows and stuff like that look original, but really, in all honesty, in good shape. Back of the hood fits good, both sides. Looks like this one s sticks in down just a little bit. You don't see it down too much. Usually you see them sticking up. Uh, what a sharp car, it yeah. really is. It's got nice uh, five spoke uh, chrome wheels, BFG raised white letter tires. Just fantastic looking car. Um, as we kind of go around it a little bit here, you got a couple paint chips right along the edges. Just on the door gap. Bottom of the front fender's good. Um, did have a chip here and someone tried to touch it up on the rocker and the paint doesn't match up quite right. As far as the uh, bottom of the doors, quarters all look good. Good gap throughout. The black paint, when they did it, it just looks fantastic. They did a nice job wet sanding and buffing that. Um, top of the back shelf looks good. Top of the back seat's excellent as well. Like I said, nice sound and dual exhaust. Back chrome all looks good. Um, you can just tell it's all original, so if a guy wanted to, you could re repaint the black in there. Back bumper's nice. Got a few small little yeah, it's definitely, definitely not perfect. I mean, no. like I said earlier, it's just a nice driver, but the back behind the rear quarter is all nice and solid. And the main thing, Dalton, is the floors are good. Exactly. You know, And like I said, all it takes is getting behind the wheel of this Chevelle, and you're instantly sold. I drove it for half a mile, and I was calling you on the phone that day, telling <laughs> you to get to the shop and drive it. Yeah, you were pretty damn pumped. Um, as far as the door jam paint and stuff like that goes, under the hood paint, I didn't like as much, but as far as the door jam paint looks really good, um, bottom corners of the doors are perfect. You know, and that's the biggest thing with these classic cars is you want a really good solid one. You know, if you got a good foundation, you can do a little bit of everything to them, but if you have a rusty one, it's you're just uh, wasting your money. Uh, top of the dash pad is excellent, except for two very, very small, little minute cracks, one there and one way over there. It's got an aftermark wood, wood grain stereo, Kenwood CD player, factory console, and someone went ahead and put a it's an aftermarket tack, I'm pretty sure, but it's an old school one, right in the factory clock hole. Um, headliner, someone replaced it. Didn't get as, as tight as it should be. Um, it could be tightened up a little better, but it's a new headliner. Uh, dome light works. Back door panels, front and rear are excellent. Uh, seat belts are excellent as well. Again, as we walk around, we're looking up the driver's side. Um, bottom of the quarter panel has two little outward dings, and probably, probably from like a jack or something, maybe. Yeah. Just two little dings there. 
But again, very solid quarter panel on the upper side is perfect. And this side's really straight. Mm. You pointed out a couple little things on the quarter panel on the driver's side. <clears throat> I'm sorry, on the passenger side. This side doesn't have any of that. Um, as far as the rocker panel, bottom of the door fits in there very, very nicely. A couple very small blisters. Again, very small right there on the very edge there. Um, other than that, a couple chips on the rocker panel. Lower fender looks good. And Timmy buffed this one out too. It looks great. Yeah, it turned out really good. Door rubber's been replaced. Corner of the driver's door is excellent as well. It's never had any work done to it. Kind of just like the floors. Mm -hmm. uh, bucket seats are the correct seats front and back. So they are the right seats for it. So uh, hopefully it was a bucket seat council car. Mm -hmm. It looks like everything's yep. pretty correct there. New carpet. Um, it did have a tear, a seam split right here. So if a guy wants to, you could put a new car new cover on it, but uh, mm -hmm. um, previous owner just put a little like piece so of tape a, on there. This is a really fun driver. It's a good yeah, looking car. But it also, you could take it to a local car show and be super proud of it. Oh, hell yeah. You know? But it's it's something that you're gonna wanna take out every single Sunday. Every time you get a chance, you're gonna wanna take out and drive this, this car. We're gonna show you why here in a minute. Um, as far as the horn goes, button moves freely, but the horn does not work. Gas gauge works. Wipers work. Radio works, because I tried that before. Just a matter of getting it to the right position there. Um, Heater fan works. works. Yeah, that works good. Um, oil pressure is 50 pounds at an idle, and we're already pretty warm. We're already at 170 70 degrees. Volt gauge works, oil pressure gauge works. And then the pack works too in the console. I like that shifter. Some of the B&Ms I don't like. I like that one that's that kind of style. Pro stick. Yeah. Yep. It is. See, it's torquey, dude. Huh? Wait, yeah. It's and the handling of it. It drives just like that black seventy-five thousand dollars Chevelle we just drove a few minutes ago. Really? You know, as far as like the handling and feel of it. I don't think this one's gonna last long. I think we're gonna price this just right under forty thousand bucks. Nice. With the power, the look, the bucket seats and console. I mean, how do you go wrong? It's a lot of carb for the money. How do I wait till there's no oncoming traffic? So this thing can get sideways. Can it? <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty fun. 89,549 miles, very well could be original, you know, according to the floors and stuff. Yeah, like the, you said, it's not. a lot of the trim pieces and dash, stuff like that look, look to be original. Looks like we got some onlookers. Do they want to see what this old do you think Chevelle could do? Seeing what it looks like? Yeah. I told you. <laughs> it's fast, man. It's for, fast. For a so small one, it's crazy. It scoots. It does. So here's your brakes. The brakes are perfect. It kind of surprised me a little bit. I probably should have had a hand on the wheel. <laughs> I know. That's what I was trying to tell you. It's, it, it gets some tires spinning. Huh. Yeah, if you like go, if you it's punch nice. her on a curve, you can get her sideways pretty oh, quick. Oh, I'm sure. It got sideways when it shifted. Yeah, it's fast. It's fun. That's probably 100 mile an hour right there. Oh, yeah. And look at it, wait a second, you gotta get this. That's the next part of this. That's what I'm, that's what I'm saying. It, handling, brakes, feel. It's quality. It is. It drives like a $100,000 car. It does. I mean, it, it really does. So whoever sees this video will probably buy this one right away. Yeah, I mean, it's as, it's as good as sold as soon as you get behind the wheel because it's there's not many cars, you know, sometimes if, if you haven't drove a lot of classic cars, it's easy to... The window's down back there. Yeah, the rear one's right. down. But it's easy to, to realize, you know, that, that not all of them drive like this. No, they don't. Not many of them do. This is the exception. That's fun. It stays right up there. It's got good gears in it. He said it had, like, a, it's got a 308 gear. Something real low. It's like 323s. Oh, it could have 323s, 323s. Maybe, yeah, they're perfect. I mean, we're... It never got over 4,000 RPM no. with all that torque. So it's perfect. It's a good highway car, but yet, you know, you can have a lot of fun with it in town. Yeah. Check it out on the website, coyoteclassics.com. Um, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. This thing's pretty fun to drive.